Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. It's June 19th, 2014. I'm Logan Burgess. From our right here is Cody Bills to help break down a positive day for corn, soybeans, and wheat in Chicago. Jumping into the quotes here, you see corn up nine cents. Soybeans led to the upside up 11 and three quarters there on the July contract. And we had Chicago wheat making a good pickup as well, up six and a half cents there uh, on the Chicago wheat contract. Cody, this morning, export sales was the big story out. Uh, what did those numbers play into the action today? Well, the only real positive thing out of export sales was out of soybeans here coming in with 97,000 metric tons. That was very positive here, especially when you look at the fact that we're already ahead of pace, about 104 million bushels ahead of pace to meet USDA yep. expectations. So the fact that we come in on the high side of analyst expectations, couple that with the 140,000 metric ton reportable sale here uh, to unknown destinations here yesterday, right. that's very positive. Shows that there is demand after weeks of selling here in soybeans. There is some export demand to be uh, picked up down at these levels. When you look at corn, it was relatively disappointing. Only 109,000 metric tons that was missing analyst expectations and down around 73% uh, from last week's sales. Right. So really ugly for uh, corn here this week. But when you look at corn exports on the whole, uh, we are about 154 million bushels ahead of pace to meet USDA expectations. So that's very positive and a good positive underlying story here yeah. uh, for the corn market. You know, the only problem is today's number just right. weren't very good. And wheat, wheat numbers weren't very good as well, you know, coming in on the low side of analyst expectations. But the one positive thing here, we did see a, uh, a tender here for the Jordan State Grain Buying Agency right. uh, for 100,000 metric tons of wheat and 100,000 metric tons of barley. Uh, when you look at the uh, the FOB bids right now, the Gulf is somewhere around $6 uh, more competitive here than Russian or uh, Ukrainian right. uh prices and uh, but but when you look at that compared to Europe it's just it's just not that positive I I can't imagine we're gonna purchase we're gonna win this uh, but we'll just have to see we right. certainly could use it Right, certainly. Well, you know, in today's action, Cody, a lot of talk was uh, focused around the extensive flooding that we're seeing across the grain belt right now, and that seemed to be helping the new crop contracts. Obviously, there's some concern about lost acres due to this precipitation, uh, but I think the big takeaway right now is that if we can get a little bit of a rally, a little bit of a snapback in the December corn contract and the November soybean contract, I think it should be used as a pricing opportunity. If you take a look here at the weather models, we are expecting a drying trend coming into the northern corn belt here uh, really starting on Tuesday of next week so that should help alleviate some issues and maybe even bigger than the near-term forecast right now is just the fact that for every picture on Twitter that we see of a flooded field you know how many fields are there out there that are actually being benefited by this rain I wouldn't expect to see a big decline in the good to excellent ratings uh, on Monday from the USDA so I think that Long term, uh, I don't think this is going to be a major factor on harvested acreage, uh, you know, when we're looking at the September or the October USDA report. Absolutely. I think all in all here, we have a little bit of uh, buying snapback after uh, some hard selling pressure right. in the last uh, couple weeks. I think that should be, uh, as you said, uh, sold into potentially right. look for opportunities in the right. cash market. Don't necessarily go out there and blindly sell. But guys, one last thing before we uh, before we go. Uh, El, El Nino is coming. That's the title of the web meeting meeting that Planalytics is hosting on June 26. It talks about El Nino, everything that you need to know, and it highlights some of the factors that will influence the intensity of this particular cycle and really uh, highlights the fact, uh, and, uh, or really everything that uh, North, per, uh, North American agricultural right. producers need to know. So if you do want any information or want to learn how to register here, give us a call at 877 877- 472-4607. Other than that, that wraps up today's show. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Give us a call if you have any questions or uh, remember to take a demo of the mobile trading platform there at grainhedge.com. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you here Friday for the weekly wrap-up.